Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Uh, in this short video, because I'm not going to make it really long in this uh, video, we're on the Windows 10 failure laptop, the one uh, we made a video about that did not work uh, or did not start up with Windows 10, the Jewel. And uh, it's now on Windows 7 starter, let me show you that real fast. And some of you will already know what this video is about. This video is about how to get the personalized uh, station part back in, you know, in your Windows 7 starter. And hold on, let this boot up, fire up. There you go. It's a Windows starter. I had a CD, fully legal. I installed it, and I also activated it. It takes a while to show and uh, well in fact it's not about uh, about Windows 7 it's more about uh, the personalization how, how to get this back in Windows 7 starter and I think in home it's also not there uh, how to change the background uh, well if you have this back and you start it up then you will get uh, a kind of little bit different sort of uh, tap or window that you're used to this is kind of slower peeps so forgive me for that we're doing this on a Pentium 4 with 1.8 gigahertz processor very slow well here we get a question if we want to launch uh, this is very annoying from Firefox asking me if I really want to close I said close you just must close you the program so uh, yes welcome back so as you could see uh, we just launched the personalization uh, tab and we will then get a warning and then we must give a permission and then it will open it's going really slow now because I'm recording that's why for no other reason this was also slow on the Windows XP so you know it really surprises me that this works You got to treat handle with care but here you can see it here you will see that you can change your um, your background by just browse to a picture and then select it and uh, yeah whatever my machine is lagging up really bad but here it is and you can put the desktop icons and etc etc yo go play with it uh, check my description for the link if you have Windows 7 starter, use this. This will give you a much better uh, experience than going into the to the registry and, and, and put it up there. That is, I think, way too complicated for normal people. So uh, I think you all should download this little app. If you have uh, uh, Windows 7 starter and just install it, it's called Personalization Panel. So uh, check it out. It's the 2.5. Works just fine under SP1. I, uh, yeah I just installed it uh, and it works fine so you can try it out let me know if this works for you and of course uh, hit the like and subscribe button you know always makes a happy user bye bye